Did you know that every ton of conventional kerosene that an aircraft burns in flight emits 3.16 tons of CO2? Yet, these emissions from global aviation represent only 2% of mine-made CO2 emissions. Did you know also that a sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, could have a carbon footprint 80% lower than the same amount of conventional kerosene on a full life cycle basis? Flying burns kerosene, a conventional fuel commonly used for its excellent properties, particularly fitted for the specific flying conditions. As a consequence, CO2 is emitted thus contributing to the impact of aviation on climate change. Mitigating this impact by reducing the specific consumption of engines and the aircraft fuel burn has always been a priority for the industry and jet aircraft in service today are well over 80% more fuel efficient per seat kilometer than the first jet in the 60s. However, to accommodate the demand and benefit from the services provided by air transport, the continuous growth in air traffic leads to a growing of absolute CO2 emissions, despite remarkable technological improvements. Finding and implementing new types of fuel will be a key lever to further reduce these emissions as part of the basket of measures defined by ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization. My name is Philippe Fonta, and I'm delighted to be your instructor for this AeroClass course on the basis of Sustainable Aviation Fuels, or SAF. I have about 30 years' experience in various international organizations, from major industrial groups like Airbus, where I spent 20 years, to non-for-profit organizations like the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, or WBCSD. My dual expertise and experience in aeronautics and in sustainable development drove me to create my own consulting company known as Scrum Consult, where I advise and train organizations and their stakeholders on how to best navigate on their sustainability path. I had the chance to be fully involved in the beginning of aviation industry journey towards alternative fuels in the first decade of this century participating in preparation of the first flight of the commercial aircraft with alternative fuels in 2008, as well as the first ICAO international conference on that matter in November 2009, paving the way for further development of SAF. This course covers the fundamentals of alternative fuels, from their technical requirements, the various potential feedstocks, and the sustainability benefits now and in the coming decades. I will explain why SAF are essential to aviation and to the world in order to meet the aviation and society's commitment towards climate change mitigation and what global trends and challenges affect the SAF landscape on a technical, economic, regulatory and sustainable point of view. <music>